Okay, this one's live and this one is. Yes, so we have YouTube live and we're recording for, you never know where we might put this in the future. So I'm Alana Blair here with Presley and Playmate Presley on Instagram. Yes. And yes, yes. the Presley on Twitter. Yes. Awesome. So let me get my coffee. We're caffeinating ourselves right now. Much needed. <laughs> Much needed. This is your second day with us this week. It is, and I'm loving every minute. Yay! Mm -hmm. But is this your, how many times have you been here? So this is my third time here in Toronto. Toronto or Toronto? How it, should I say it? You should say Toronto because then you sound like you're, you're one of us. Okay. okay. <laughs> so it's my third time here. Um, this time's a little different because we're like still coming out of the pandemic here. Yeah, so yeah. you went through a lot on your on your way in to Canada. I did. My plane was held um, for an hour. We couldn't get off when we landed because customs was backed up, passport machine issues. And then even though I've had my negative test and my vaccines, I still was selected to do the random swab, PCR, COVID test. I didn't even know they did random selections. No, that is so unfortunate. And when I asked her, like, why do I have to do this? She said, well, I don't really know. We're just picking people randomly. Like, she maybe, had no answer for me. Maybe they, like, don't trust your other tests? Maybe I think it was because I'm from Florida. Oh, no. <laughs> We're known to be wild and crazy down there. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I, the last Florida video I saw was Florida man, like, wrangles an alligator <laughs> into his recycling bin. It's a real thing. And he was you, just wearing his slippers. Mm -hmm. Google Florida man, Florida woman. You will see lots and lots. One of my best friends is a Florida woman, actually. I'm not going to out her on the YouTube live, but... If you Google Florida woman, she may pop up. Oh my God. <laughs> have you ever done anything that makes you a Florida woman? No, I have not. <laughs> I, I stay pretty like under the radar from the law. Nothing too crazy. Is it like, some, it has to be something law breaking? Yeah, you get arrested for something. Oh, okay. Or what about just making the news? Like the guy that ca caught the alligator in his recycling bin. That was cool thing to do that is cool i mean we he like this... let it free in a pond did oh he's so was... sweet oh, gosh. i mean we're like overrun with alligators that's the that's like the running joke with floridians one of the cameramen actually asked me like oh so what do you do in florida i'm like yeah we wrestle alligators so you actually see them and it's normal just to oh, pass by totally an alligator. normal i, I live <laughs> on the water and you'll see them like on occasion just come up on the banks and you, you need to start making TikToks about this. <laughs> the I, Yeah, what happens in your life when Florida you... Florida life. Like a, like a Florida model is walking down the street and she sees an alligator. What happens? Like, what do you do? You know, they, <laughs> when I was little, they taught me to run from zigzag, like in a zigzag pattern. Okay. So it can't catch you. Good to know. I've only yeah. been there once. It was a long time ago, but I don't... I didn't see any... No uh, gator. I think I was in the tourist area, maybe. They're at Disney World, too. Are they really? Yeah. Oh, man. They're everywhere. You guys were talking about Disney World dress code yesterday, I think. We were, because they do have one, believe it or not. I'm always pushing the limits when I go, I feel like. Do you like. go like this kind of dress? Yeah, like this is like a comfy <laughs> to me, like Disney Summer dress. dress. Yeah. I saw a girl on TikTok that said, Disney hack, if you wear a shirt that's showing too much, they'll give you a free t-shirt because they don't want you to wear that. They will. That's on some of like the Disney forums that I'm on. She, I think the girl ended up wearing like a little bikini top. Yeah, mm -hmm. just to get a free shirt. And got back with a free shirt. I mean, that's not a bad deal. That's a nice way, it's a nice way to say like cover up, like here's a free product. And that's like, I mean, a Disney t-shirt will run you like 50 bucks. That's pretty good. So That is not bad. Well, I'll have to keep off. that in mind um, when I go. Maybe I can like Pull my shorts up a little, show a butt cheek or something. Just the whole outfit going for you. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I got any dresses, guys? <laughs> Can I have a free dress? <laughs> That's hilarious. What's the weather like down there? Is it hot? I think when I landed in Toronto earlier this week, we were about the same temperature. That's weird. But now I've gone back and look at my, my weather app and we're sitting in the 80s. And I don't know what that is like uh, Celsius for I you guys. I think, I, I know 80s is a hot summer day. I think it's like maybe close to 30. Yeah, probably close to 30. Yeah. Oh, Celsius. I'm so jealous. It is beach weather year It's round. not close to 30? Okay. It's not? 
Oh. Commentators are saying that I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> I usually just ask Google <laughs> me to too, tell me. and that's what I, I have had to do that with a thermostat in my hotel room. Oh yeah, because it's all in Celsius, and I can't get it to switch over to Fahrenheit. Oh no, struggles of being a Floridian. <laughs> <laughs> I like to um, keep my my room at like 25. It's like warm. Yeah, or 24. That's about where I kept it last night, like 24. Okay, most people think it's too hot, but like I'm always turning the heat up, like in my little desk area here yeah, and getting be in trouble. warm and cozy <laughs> warm and cozy so do you have anything else on your bucket list while you're in Toronto I'm not staying too long this time but I feel like I should have booked a trip to Niagara Falls yeah definitely it's very like a touristy thing to do but the man I sat next on the plane told me it's an absolute must see yeah it's really beautiful is it and he said like you can go at Christmas and it's all lit up and yeah it's actually always lit up at night. They'll okay. do like, yeah, they'll alternate the colors and like they'll do rainbow. But at Christmas, I think they do Christmas colors mm -hmm. and they have a light festival usually. Aww. So yeah, we could just go. come back in December. Yeah, just come back. Days. We have good Christmas <laughs> stuff in Toronto too. Yeah. I was scared that it was going to be too cold and that's why I didn't book like the extra day. Well, this year we're supposed to have a mild winter with a lot of snow, so it'll be really pretty for pictures. <gasps> so if you can handle some snow, just come on over during Christmas and do like a little holiday photo shoot. This is one of the few places I've actually seen snow, but it's here in like the city, so it's not like snow, snow. You it's know, it's only pretty when it's right, like fresh. Otherwise, in the city. it's kind of gray. Yeah, it just it goes yeah. bad quick. But you got to be right in the snowstorm, taking pictures, having a great time. I need to do that. Yes, That's a bucket list item. All right, we're putting sure. it on our bucket list. Well, Presley's going to go shoot some more stuff for the show, so stay tuned this week on our program. She's going to be in a lot of stuff, including a Never Have I Ever game, which I'm excited to see. Oh, yeah. So much fun. Ooh. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>